He's whispering. Lazarus whispering, come find me. He's whispering, come find the truth. He wants somebody that's called an anointed God to get curious. And say, why is the end of the story? Why is this part, Dr. Owens, Luke being so important, glory to God, and understanding the power of the resurrection, the power that Jesus has, Why did Luke bring him out? We're being baited. Why would the Holy Ghost bait us like this, Brother Jock? It must be because what happened between Martha and Mary is that important. That you might be certain in the things that you've already been instructed in. You've been instructed, but you have not gone deep. In this scripture, you need to get into the scripture. You don't just, just read it, know it, memorize it. Say amen to it when it's been preached. But this is the kind of scripture you got to step in. Step in. What did Mary do when she sat at the feet of Jesus? What did Mary do when the Holy Ghost pushed her, then put his hands, if I can say it that way, on her shoulders and made her sit there and say, stay there and listen to Jesus, because there's going to come a doctor years later and write about this. And just when my church needs it the most in the 21st century, I'll have it unveiled. <laughs> Let's unpack it a little bit. If you step in, Dr. Holmes, if you step into Scripture, you might hear a little something in Martha's voice. The first curious thing you should ask is, if she really wanted Mary to come help her, why didn't she ask Mary? I do agree there was a lot of mouths to feed because Jesus was there and he brought his 12, so that's 13. And then there's Mary, Martha, and Lazarus was there even though he's not mentioned. It's a lot of folks to feed. Why didn't she go to Mary and say, girl, get up here. Come on, help me. What's wrong with you? Why did she go to Jesus If it wasn't for us to hear just a little bit of jealousy. Maybe she's working and fixing and she really could have done it, but she just didn't like the fact that her baby sister has chosen to do that when she's chosen to do this. Ain't that just like church? Ain't that just like we that really want to be deep and live a holy life and obey God? Even folk in the church will criticize us saying, oh, holier than thou, huh? I'm not people right here in church with you. Go further. Why is it that your own blood relatives get upset they in church, but they don't understand and say it don't take all of that. Why is it that people that say they believe in Jesus and God, when we give everything to Jesus, say, now nah, you're being fanatical. Wait, isn't it maybe a little bit jealousy, Dr. Orange, because they can't get to that place? That they enjoy being a secular saint, so to speak, and they want you to be a little bit more secular along with them, and they really don't like the fact that you really enjoy being at the feet of Jesus. Please be seated. With all 
the world has to offer, you ain't supposed to love Jesus that much. Come on, there's, come on, there's, there's, there's a whole life out here. You can have him go to church. I go to church too, you know, and you can really have him and go to church. I mean, man, I'll beat you getting there, but, 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 no, you're putting a little bit too much. I mean, if you listen to Martha real carefully, Lord, aren't you concerned that my sister ain't got up? Notice how she said that and have not got up and helped me. Lord, aren't you, aren't you, aren't you worried about me doing all this other good stuff that's needful but ain't exactly spiritual? Y'all ain't going to help me preach good because if, 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 doctor, I don't feel like going there, but if I would go there, you know how you have relatives that say, listen, you ought to quit being so worried about church and start doing more man hunting. If you weren't so sanctified, you go to club and you can meet a couple of them. See, I told y'all I couldn't go. Some of y'all ain't going with me. Y'all didn't. Amen. Glory to God. I feel like I'm in the movie Frozen. My goodness here. Hey, hey, glory to God. I'm, I, no, I'm saying, honey, there, listen, there's some folks that are really jealous of the fact of your commitment with Christ. That go to church. Martha wasn't necessarily no bad person, glory to God. But she just didn't have what Mary had. You the baby girl. You younger than me. The Bible literally said he went to, Martha brought him into her house. So she the oldest now. All three of them, none of them married. Two sisters, one. Them, but, and man, and, 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 and then you the younger. Giving that much to Jesus of your life. Of your life. Don't you know life is more than that? Don't you ought to have more than what you got now and run around there following that church and carrying on all doing all that kind of stuff? And Jesus said, oh, but Jesus said, listen, Martha, you, you are troubled about a whole lot of stuff. But well, this girl then chose the right thing. And, and, and guess what, Martha? It ain't going to be taken from her. This may be your house. But I created the wood that you build it with. This may be the food, but I made the animals that y'all had to kill to put them on the plate. I am the resurrection and I am the life. And there's going to come a time when your brother going to be four days in the grave. And you're going to realize, glory to God, that Mary wasn't doing nothing but getting ready for it. Yeah. I know I'm tearing you up a little bit with your way with the now nah, see how I'm going up. with your way with self with a man glory to God worry my, my time clock honey what, what, what time clock you got that God didn't wind it you wouldn't have no days if God didn't wind your clock up why don't you get back at the foot of Jesus you might be surprised what happened if you get there <laughs> 